Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Laravel 5 onto a Windows 8 machine that's running XAMPP or XAMPP. Um, XAMPP is in a local Apache server that comes with PHP, MySQL, Perl, some other things. Um, and it's, it's, it's a really nice environment to do your PHP development in if you want to do it locally. All right, so I already have it installed. If you need help installing it, I do have a video on how to install it. It is old, but the, the process is, is still the exact same, so uh, it's still relevant. So check that out if you want to install XAMPP. All right, so what we're gonna do is take a look at the documentation for Laravel and it gives you some steps to install. You can see we need version uh, PHP version 5.5.9 or higher. Uh, you also need these PHP extensions and if you're using XAMPP then you shouldn't have any issues. These should already be enabled. Alright, now when we go down to the installation it's telling us we need to use Composer which is a dependency manager that Laravel uses. Alright, so if you don't have Composer then you need to install that first. Alright, so if we go to getcomposer.org there's a lot of information here. With Windows, there is an installer that you can use. Um, I've actually never used it. I've always installed it manually, so that's what I'm gonna show you how to do. Um, if we go down here, you can see you can install it using curl, or you can just use PHP is what we're gonna do. So we're gonna copy this right here, and then I'm gonna go to my XAMPP control panel and click shell. It's going to open up right in the XAMPP directory, which is in my C drive. And what I want to do is go to the PHP folder that is in XAMPP. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and paste that in and run it. All right, so you can see it says Composer successfully installed, and it created this Composer far to phar file and that's right in our php directory okay so if we go back one let's go to c drive xamp and i run composer we're going to get an unrecognized error that's because it's not available from everywhere and we need it to be so what we need to do is i'm going to go to that php folder so right in the xamp folder and then php and we're going to create a new file and we're going to call it composer.bat bat all right and i'm not going to open it directly from here i'm actually going to open notepad and you want to run it as an administrator All right, and then I'm just gonna navigate to that file, go to open, and we want C drive, XAMPP, PHP, and then you wanna go down here and select all files, and we wanna open composer.bat. All right, so I don't know what that is, but let's get rid of that. And I have some text I'm gonna paste in here. Whoops, that's not it. Okay, so that's what we want to put in here. All right, so copy that exactly, okay? Make sure all the characters are the same. And then we're gonna just go ahead and save that and close it up. And now let's see if we can run Composer. We might have to restart the shell. Nope, so you can see we have all these commands now, okay? So that's just telling us what we can do with Composer. So now you can run that anywhere. Now we can go back to the Laravel site and grab this command right here and we'll go ahead and paste that in all right now if you look at this you want to take note of this path right here you can see mine is in my users then my username app data roaming and then composer all right we're going to need to know that path right there so that we can set um, a global variable so that we can access Laravel from anywhere. Alright, so 
now that we have that all set, let's create our environmental path. All right, so we're going to just, uh, there's a few ways to get to it, but if you just go to this PC or my computer, depending on which versions of, uh, which version of Windows you have, if you go to properties and then advanced system settings, and then you'll have this environmental variables button. And we want to edit the path variable. Okay, so if we click edit, now, what you have here is probably different than what I have, but no matter what you have, just put a semicolon at the very end, and then we'll just uh, continue on here. Okay, so we want C drive, and it's gonna be users slash, in my case, it's Brad, but yours will be whatever username you have. All right, and then we're gonna do app data. Uh, let's see, app data slash roaming slash, uh, what is it, composer, and then slash uh, vendor slash bin. All right, Whoop. and then a semicolon to end with. All right, so that's going to point to composer. So let's say OK, OK. And it's not going to work now. You ha actually have to restart your machine. All right, so I'm on a virtual machine, so I'm going to just go ahead and restart it. Actually, I'll do it down here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and restart this, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. I went ahead and restarted my computer. Now I'm going to go back into the shell. And what you want to do now is go to wherever you want to create your project. And in our case, we need to go to our web server folder, which is htdocs. Okay, so we're going to go cd htdocs. And we're going to run Laravel new, and then whatever you want to call the application. And I'm going to call it Goal Tracker. All right, and that's going to go ahead and create the application. And this can sometimes take about three minutes or so. There's a lot of folders and files that it has to create. All right, so I'll go ahead and pause it and I'll be right back. All right, so that went ahead and finished. Now if I go ahead and open up that folder, I want htdocs gold tracker and you can see that it created all these folders and files for us. All right, and if I go open, open the browser and go to uh, we want to go to localhost slash whoop. slash goal tracker and you'll notice that we just have a, a listing of files and folders which definitely is not what we want so that's because when you install Laravel you have to go to the public folder okay that's the folder that the browser needs to access and the browser needs to go to, to access the application all right, and this is the standard welcome page for a new, a new Laravel app. So even if you want a live server, you would be at your domain, whatever, dot com slash public, and we, that's not where we want to be. So what we can do is we're using Apache so we can set up a virtual host and point it to this directory. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, we're going to go into the xamp folder and then into Apache and then conf extra and you want to open httpd vhost.conf. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just uh, let's see, I'm going to open it with Sublime Text and then you want to go down to the bottom and you can see these virtual host tags. First thing you want to do is uncomment this right here. Okay, so get rid of these two uh, number signs. All right, and then let's copy one of these blocks. And we want to uncomment the start and the end tag. And then all we need is the document root. So get rid of that and the server name. And we can get rid of the rest of these. All right, and then you want to uncomment these. Okay, and the document root is going to be the public folder. So we want htdocs slash goal tracker slash public. And then we're going to change the server name to 
gold tracker. And that's it. Okay, so we'll save that. Now there's one more thing that we need to do before we can access it, and that is we need to edit the host file. Okay, your Windows host file. I'm sure a lot of you know what that is. Uh, if not, we need to go. Now we need to uh, open up Notepad first. Uh, actually, we want to open Notepad as administrator. All right. So we'll go to um, not new. We want to go to open and we're going to go to our C drive and then Windows and then you want to go to System32 and then Drivers and then ETC okay down here we're going to choose to see all files and you want to open hosts alright and then down here you'll see you should have this address with local host alright what I'm going to do is copy this and I'm going to uncomment and then we're going to change this to goal tracker or whatever you called your app. Whoops. All right, and then we'll save that. And then before it can take effect, we need to restart Apache. So I'm going to say stop and start. All right, so now if we go back to our browser and just go to HTTP Goal Tracker, it brings us to our Laravel app. All right, and you would do the same thing if you were on a live Apache server. All right, so that's how you can install Laravel 5 onto XAMPP in a Windows 8 machine.